At Commodore, we've been building our own thermoformers since my father started his business in 1980. The SX44 thermoformer was designed by people who are making foam every day. We've put the features in that we would want for ourselves and we think it's great for our customers. That's what a lot of the producers in the market need, especially the big markets. They're looking for a high output machine to make a lot of products in a short period of time. The whole idea with this thermoformer is high production, easy and reliable. These chain rails, we built these with servo motors on each rail. The idea there is we take out the transmission system, it puts less resistance on the chains so the chain rails can go faster. These chain rails will go 200 inches a second, what we believe is faster than the industry standard. One thing we really like about the servo motor on each rail is that there's no linkage that, that gets in the way and that allows us to pull from the front without having the linkage in the way and by pulling from the front we get less wear on the chains. So when we do a mold change you'll be able to see how easy it is to get right in there and change that mold without that linkage being in the way. Now these chain rails have a button that allows you on the first cycle it'll run slow the wonder button will slow it down to maybe 50 inches per second. Allows you to get that in there, get that started, you push the button again, off it goes. These chain rails we built through an aluminum extrusion, so we're sending cooling water right down the rail and back. It's a real clean, neat setup, and all the rail components are then cooled. We designed the oven on the SX44 to be friendly to the operator and efficient to run. The oven moves back and forth to accommodate different mold sizes. We have heaters in the back end of the oven where the foam enters that you can turn on and off so the technician has the maximum amount of flexibility in setting up the different process. The oven opens in the center in a clamshell outwards so that when you have an emergency stop situation, the ovens will open up and not melt the sheet and have it drip into the oven. It just makes it easier for the operator or the technician to get the machine up and running. The warm station on the SX44 thermoformer is built for performance. With the speed of these chain rails and the speed of this form station, the SX44 thermoformer will cycle at over 40 cycles per minute. Your process is going to be what limits your speed, not the machine. Typically foam needs a certain amount of closed mold time and this ma machine will allow you the flexibility to go as fast or as slow as the process requires. Typically, you'll see a form station that the closure mechanism will often be a toggle or a crank. And the problem with toggles and cranks is that as they reach the closed position, they slow down. And that's right when you want to be going full speed. So with the hydraulic system, we're running those platens full speed until the mold is completely closed. One of the concerns that people have with hydraulics is that they leak. So one of the things that we've done here is we're using a high-end fitting where you can take the pipes apart and put them back together and they won't leak. It's not a crimped fitting, it's an O-ringed fitting. We've done some things to oversize the piping, we've done some things to move the valves so that this machine will dry cycle at 40 cycles per minute. Simple fact of the matter is we are using hydraulics for the performance. They go the speeds that they need to go and they don't slow down when they close. We've developed this machine with flexible pins. They're there to take the force of the closure, not position the mold. What we want the mold to do is flex a little bit so that the mold can become completely flat. We use internal stops in the mold and we want the hydraulic system to push down until all the stops hit their home. In addition to the internal stops in the mold, we've allowed an adjustment on the machine that's super simple that allows you to, to make your part just a little bit thicker. If you have some process variation where maybe your foam is thin on one side versus the other, this machine gives you a little bit of extra flexibility to turn those bad rolls into good trays. On this particular machine, we have a, we have a common set of cooling plates. It stays in the machine. When you want to change out between items, the tool changes faster because you're not having to reconnect all of the plumbing. You, you unbolt the mold, you slide it out, you slide a new one in, it comes right up to a pin that locates it right in position, you put the bolts in, and you're running. In terms of cost, if you have 10 molds that you're going to use in a thermoformer,
and you can make one set of cooling plates or 10 sets of cooling plates, there's some significant savings that can be had. One of the things that we try to do is make the machine easy to set up. One way we do that is once you create a recipe for a certain item, you just store that recipe, you run that item again, and it'll go right back to the way you were running it the last time. The idea there is fast tool change from item to item in the least amount of time possible, and always starting from the same baseline condition. The SX44 thermoformer is designed to go fast. So we needed to get the foam into the trim press with a relaxed web. What we're doing is we're using a power canopy. Basically what it does, whenever the sheet feeds into the trim press, this just pulls more sheet up ready to go. It feeds in, it restocks. It feeds in, it restocks. Then what this power canopy does is it just always gives you a relaxed web to feed down into that trim press. The treadle wheels are always feeling the same amount of resistance for consistent feeding, consistent cutting all the time. And one of the features that we really like, we have a little panel with four simple buttons, up, down, left, right, so the operator can adjust the trim as needed. We don't actually call the trim press a trim press. We call it a miracle press. And the reason that we do that is it's different from anything that's ever been out there, and we think it's just the greatest thing in the world. We run the moving platen back and forth using a servo motor, and we can change the speed of the platen. So we'll pull back really fast, we'll sort of slow down, we'll give you some time to feed the foam in there, and then we accelerate to full speed. The best part is we're always cutting at 150 CPM. When you're cutting foam, if you have a fast cutting action, it's going to cut better than with a slow cutting action. So by the fact that we cut everything at a fast speed, regardless of how you're running it in thermoforming, it's running fast and trimming. We slow the platen down, and then we speed it up to cut. Nice clean cut, always the same, real consistent. The operators are going to love it. One of the things that's important to our customers is that when they have a problem, they can call us. We understand what it is, and we can offer advice, we can offer service, we can offer parts. We've been through most everything our customers have been through, and we can help. That's really the goal. The goal is to make it easy, to make it flexible, to give the technicians or the operators who are, who are setting this machine up all the tools that they need to make it easy, make it quick, and have it be reliable. That's, that's what people want, a thermoformer.